This is Court TV Live, your front row seat to justice. I'm Julie Grant. Thank you for being with us. We're going to go back together to New Jersey now where we're seeing the trial of a former Olympic star. His name is Michael Barrison. He's accused of attempted homicide. He says the shooting was in self-defense, though, and he was being attacked. Everyone knew each other in this incident. And right now on the stand is the alleged victim. Her name is Lauren Canerick. And the buildup is, is happening right now where counsel is asking her uh, to remember the date in question, which is August 7th, 2019. Let's go back in. Do you know where he was? He was upstairs somewhere, probably the bedroom, just watching TV or on the phone or something. Now, when you were sitting on that love seat, yeah. uh, did anything catch your attention from the area of the driveway? Yes. Can you tell the jury what that was? Yes. Um, I was laying on the love seat on the porch and I began to hear pebbles kind of like being thrown around and it was coming from the barn um, sort of headed towards what I thought would be the road and that's what caught my attention first was just the sound of pebbles and the sound of what sounded like a heavier truck or car coming down the driveway. Did you see a truck or car? I did eventually. What did you see? I saw a a big silver dually um, come over the crest and turn into the driveway where the porch area is and park. And, and based on living at the farm and, and working or uh, training at the farm, who commonly drove that silver dually? Michael. Did you see who was driving? Not at first. But when you saw the truck come over the crest and then pull into the driveway where you were sitting, mm -hmm. what did you do? The first thing I did was ran upstairs to go and let Rob know that Michael was here all of a sudden. At that point, could you see uh, what Rob was doing? Yes. What was he doing? He was on the bed and he was on the phone. And do you know or did you come to learn who he was talking to? I did. Who is that? Um, our One of our attorneys, Ed David. And how do you know that's who Rob was talking to? He told me. Did Rob do anything with the phone? Uh, n n meaning, I'm sorry, he st stayed on it and came downstairs with me. So you went downstairs. Uh, when you got downstairs, did you come to that same? I'm sorry. Did you go to that same doorway that you just identified in the photo S345? Yes. Did you see anyone outside at that point? Yes. Who did you see? Michael Barrison. Did you see where he was? Yes, I did. Can you tell the jury where you saw him? Yes, he was. On this side of that bush, um, with like partial area of his body kind of like hidden with the bush, and the rest of his body was pretty much completely visible. So, like, what part of his body could you see? Um, like from here up, um, his arm, and that's I think that's pretty much it. And just Our, because. Uh we're recording all this, but not necessarily video recording it. When you say from here up, where are you gesturing? On oh, I'm sorry. Um, like, I guess waist up, maybe. Could you see his waistband? Um, I don't remember. Do you recall where Rob was at that time? Yes, Rob was at that time on the porch with like, next to me. Was he still on the phone or did he do something with the phone? He was still on the phone when we saw Michael. And then at some point, did he do something with the phone? Yes. What did he do with the phone? He handed it to me. Did you talk on the phone at all? I did, I think, but I don't know what I said at that moment. I think I just said, Michael's here. I don't know why. Something along those lines. And do you recall whether or not the attorney was still on the line? Yes, he was. Uh, 
did, without getting into specifics, did you hear whether or not Rob and Michael Barrison talked at all? Yes. Did you hear Michael Barrison say anything? Yes. What did you hear him say? I heard him say, um, mostly speaking to Rob at that point, um, you know, I don't want a war. How do I fix this? How, how, how can I make this all better? Something along those lines, almost exact words, but along those lines. How can I make this better? I don't want a war. I, I just want to fix everything and make everything good again. What or how would you describe his demeanor when he said that? Calm. Uh, just, yeah, I would just say calm. Was he yelling? No. Did you do anything after hearing him say that? I, after hearing him say that, I went down to go find out how he wanted to do that. I was willing to listen to this, whereas Robert, when he said this, I guess, to Robert, Robert just said, listen, you know, there's lawyers involved. We can make things better. It's fine. Just, you know, have our lawyers talk. And Rob went back up onto the porch. I then was thinking, you know, all this stuff had been happening for the past couple of days. You know, Michael had been calling the police on us for reasons that we didn't even know why. And not this, that it was out of character um, for him to act one way one day and then, you know, be nice the next day. But I kind of wanted to know. So I walked over to him and said, how, you know, how do you plan to make this better? How do you, you know, you have a, a bill or something. I was saying something about the bill that he had to settle with Rob, but I didn't get that far because... Why not? The minute I started talking, pretty much, or, yeah, within the minute I started talking, he pulled out a gun and shot me once, twice, directly in the chest. At that point, do you remember if you were still holding the phone with the attorney? I believe I was. Did you have anything else in your hands? No. How tall are you? 5'4". Do you know how tall Michael Barrison is? I believe he's 6'4". Did you see the gun? I did. Do you remember how he was holding the gun? Was it close to his body or pointed out and held away from his body? It was kind of like he pulled it out points at it, boom, boom, just like that. Can you tell the jury what you remember seeing or hearing when he fired the gun? Wait, I'm sorry, can you repeat that? What I, I wasn't sure. Can you remember or can you tell the jury what you remember seeing or hearing when Michael Barrison fired the gun? I remember when, when he fired it, what I remember seeing or hearing. I remember seeing my chest. Um, Why did you look at your chest? It was almost unreal to me that i just gotten shot. So I looked at my chest quickly to see, are there really bullet holes there? Like, this, this can't be real. Um, I also then saw Michael raise his arm up and shoot at Robert, who was on the porch still, just directly raised his arm, shot at Robert, and then Robert disappeared. At that point, I saw Michael run around me and go running up the stairs of the porch. And I don't know, so it's just some of it's a blur, but... Do you, do you remember after seeing that you had been shot, did you feel it? I did, I felt it, but I almost remember thinking, I, I did not start bleeding right away. 
So I looked at my chest and thought, oh, okay, maybe they're just blanks or something. But then I started bleeding and I realized. Remember, do you remember what you were wearing, uh, at least in terms of the top or tops? Yeah, I was actually wearing a red shirt um, with like gray sleeves. And I, since I usually always wore hoodies, I'm pretty sure I was wearing one that day as well. I, I think like a, either a yellow or a gray one. And by hoodie, you mean a, a sweatshirt? Yeah, like a sweatshirt that zipped up. I think I had it unzipped with a hood. After Michael Barrison shot you twice in the chest, you said that you saw him turn the gun and point it at Robert? Yes, well, he shot at me, he shot, shot me, and then, yeah, he, ra he raised the gun up and immediately took a shot at Rob. And when I looked at the porch, I no longer saw Rob. So I fully thought that he was shot in the head and killed at that moment. Do you remember what you did right after that? Right after he shot me? Or right, right after he shot you and you saw him take a shot at Rob? I, um, I think I like spun around in a circle or two thinking like, is this real? Is this real? And then I looked on the porch and I saw Rob on top of Michael trying to hold, like, restrain him. Because I guess I, I didn't really see how that happened, but since Michael went up the stairs to do it, only I could imagine was to finish, or to make sure that he did actually. Just, yeah, don't, don't, don't assume anything. Okay. Just tell us what you saw and what you heard. Okay. Thanks. Can you repeat, I'm sorry. Go ahead, ask, ask a question, Mr. Shelburne. Were you still holding a phone at that point? Yes. Do you remember Specifically, do you remember making a 911 call? I didn't at the time, no. I told the lawyer that I was on the phone with what had happened. Now, at some point, uh, do you remember being on the phone with 911, whether you remember actually dialing or not? Vaguely. Do you remember what you said to the 911 operator? I said something to the effect of, I just been shot two times. Michael Barrison shot me two times, or shot me two times in the chest, something along those, those lines. When you were making. What do you think of this testimony we're seeing so far? We're hitting the pause button. You're not going to miss a moment of it. We just need to hit a break. So we're at the bottom of the hour. Thank you for being with us today here on Court TV Live.